welcome back to Carly's Creations. I'm Carly and I've had some requests to show you how to create a water slide image from start to finish. So that's what we're going to do today. So I do use the Silhouette program. I have a Silhouette Cameo 3. Um, I know you can do it on the Cricut. I don't know how, so I do apologize. I've only ever worked with Silhouette. So Having said that, um, I have just opened my program. So when you open your program, um, it will come to a blank page. Um, you do want to set it to the eight and a half by 11, which is what I have here. So I'm going to show you how to do that first, and then we will load our images. If you go over here, the very first tab up here is page setup. When you click that, you will get this little screen right here. From here, you will want to go to media size. And go ahead and click on that and then from there you'll see a pull down menu now because i am going to print from a regular inkjet printer i'm obviously not going to do a 12 by 12 um, which is the size of our mat there i'm going to do an eight and a half by 11. so i'm going to go ahead and click that and that will allow our page to be set to the eight and a half by 11 because this is the page size that i'm going to put into my printer and I am just using a Canon inkjet printer. It's nothing fancy. I got it at Target. You can find them anywhere. Um, the biggest thing you have to remember with water slide images is if you use an inkjet printer, you do have to seal your images. And I will show you how to do that in this video. But if you don't seal your images, um, they will bleed and not come out right when you go to apply them um, to your tumbler, to whatever that you're going to apply them to. If you are using a laser printer, you don't have to seal those. So again, having said that, I've only used an inkjet printer and I've only ever sealed my images. So that's what I have experience with. So that's what I'm showing you today. Okay, our next step is to create an image. So I'm gonna go over to my library, which is right up here. And these are all of my files. So I'm going to go ahead and pick one. I actually didn't really have one in mind. Um, you can kind of scroll through. You can have different categories over here. We have like project designs, recent downloads. So I'm going to go in my project designs and I'm going to do some friends ones because I want to create a friends cup. So can't have a friends cup without the frame, right? So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that and it will pull up my frame. Now, obviously I'm not going to want this large of a frame. So what we're going to do is if you click on it, it'll pull up this little box right here. See the squares? And you'll get the little double sided arrow. We're going to shrink this guy down, obviously way down because that's a very big project. We don't need it that big. So I'm going to shrink it down to about three inches by three inches. Is about the size that I'm gonna want okay now with this white frame right here I'm printing on white paper for a water slide image it's typically not an issue but if you would like to get rid of this outer white part I will show you how to do that if you come over to the corner here and you're gonna see what looks like a butterfly this is your trace panel go ahead and click on the butterfly and then you'll see right here where it says select trace area go ahead and click that and then you'll get this little cross cursor here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click and drag to highlight your image and make sure you get it all in that black frame. Okay, now you see how our frame pops up there? What you're gonna do next is we wanna highlight all of this. So you'll see right here where it says threshold, you're gonna click the arrow up and you're gonna up your threshold and if you watch the frame, See how it's filling in? You wanna make sure all of that is yellow. Okay, so there we go. Now, the next part you wanna do is you're gonna see down here, you can have the option to trace, trace the outer edge, or trace and detach. So because we're wanting to take this out of the white frame, we're gonna trace and detach. Go ahead and click on that. Now, it'll look like it didn't do anything, right? But if you grab your white frame, it detached it from the white, okay? So from here, we can just delete this. Go ahead and right click 
and then just click delete because we don't need that, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and move this onto our page. All right, so we're gonna go back to the library and we're gonna grab a couple more images because I want to fill up as much as this paper as I can. Um, you don't wanna waste any of it, but the less waste the better. This isn't the type of project where, you know, you can print one and then put it back in the printer and kind of go back and forth. So um, for some reason with these friends images, it'll load it to different pages. So I just copy it and paste it, which is a pretty easy thing. Go ahead and copy. And then I click over here and just paste. There we go. I don't know why. It doesn't do that with other things, but for some reason on the friends, I don't know. It's weird. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and shrink this down. Just go ahead and make it to whatever measurement you want. I'm gonna go ahead and put it down to just over one and a half by two inches by about two and a half. I'm gonna shrink that down a little bit more actually. Okay, so we're gonna shrink this down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull, let's see, one more image. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get our friends here and again like I said before copy and paste if this happens to you this may not happen to you for some reason like I said it happens with the friends ones I don't know why sometimes they go a little wonky I don't I don't know what it is okay so this we're gonna go ahead and shrink down again okay and we're gonna put this guy right here now for the sake of the video, I'm just going to um, fill in the sheet with these duplicate images here, and then that way I just always have extra on hand. So if you want to create a duplicate image, you're gonna go ahead and right click on your image and see right here where it says duplicate. Click that, Shazam, now you have two. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing, duplicate. And there you have it. And again, like I said, I just don't ever want to waste paper. All right. That will be good. Okay. So with water slide images, um, this is, will be a clear water slide. So there's no reason for me to need to cut them out with my silhouette. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get scissors and I'll just kind of hand cut around um, and go from there. So you'll want to have your printer connected to all of your programs and your silhouette and your computer um, in order for this to work. So you're going to go, let me adjust my camera here. You're going to go up to file. All right. And you're going to see right down here where it says, whoops, right where it says print. Okay. We're going to go ahead and click print. Now, you'll want to check your preferences first. Go ahead and click preferences. And with water slide printing, I do choose the photo printing option. So I'm going to click photo printing. And this may be different on your screen than it is on my screen because we're all going to have different computers and printer systems. So for media type, I'm going to go and click photo papers. And then glossy photo paper okay and then just make sure same with printing you just want to make sure all of your settings are where they're supposed to be for your paper size so i'm going to click eight and a half by eleven and i do always have the option to preview before printing i feel like that gives me a little peace of mind okay now for our paper i use the haze water slide transparent paper I've gone through a couple different water slide papers and this one works every single time. So I am a big time Haze water slide paper fan and I will just always use this brand because it doesn't give me any trouble at all. So I did find this on Amazon and I will link all of this down below for you. We're just gonna go ahead and get, we're gonna get a piece of paper out here. Okay, and it is just a white piece of paper. Okay, nothing fancy. So we're going to print on 
there's a glossier side, which is this side, and then the other side is more of a matte. We're going to print on the glossy side. If you're using a different brand of water slide, it may be different, and it should say on the package which side to print on. So we're going to go ahead and print on the glossy side. I'm going to go ahead and load this to my printer, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my paper loaded into my printer. Again, make sure the glossy side is up. From here, we're just going to print. I'm going to go ahead and click print. Now, because I selected print preview, this is going to show me exactly how this is going to print. So everything looks good, and I'm going to go ahead and click start printing. From there, you can probably hear it. The printer will print exactly what it has on here. We're going to let this dry. I usually let it dry for maybe five minutes, and then we're going to go ahead and spray seal this, and I will show you that step. So we are back. And it's all printed and dried from the printer. I did let it sit for about five minutes before I touch it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna seal it now. So what I use is the Rust-Oleum two times ultra clear. Um, I've tried other clears too, and it just, none of the combinations were working. But the haze paper and this sealer, I've had the best luck with and I won't change it <laughs> because why fix it when it isn't broke, right? So we're gonna go ahead and shake up, make sure it's all shaken up. And I'm going to spray a little bit away, but I want to make sure that I'm covering all of the images in an even coat. Okay. So now we're going to sit. We're going to let it dry. I probably let it dry maybe 15, 20 minutes in between each coat. I do three coats and then let it dry for maybe an hour after the final coat. And then I'm ready to use it. So, whoops. To get your images out, you just get scissors and kind of cut around. And remember, this is a clear, transparent water slide. So I know it's on white paper, but it will come off clear on your cup or your plates or whatever that you're going to use your water slide images on. So um, there you have it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have more questions, if you have more video requests, please let me know. And happy crafting!